Good morning, everyone, and good morning to everyone joining us from home. Welcome to our celebration of the Eucharist. Our celebrant this morning is Father Elaine, and we remember in a very special way the All Souls Novena, the entrance antiphon. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, be not far from me. Make haste and come to my help, O Lord, my strong salvation. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I rejoice gladly in the Lord that now at last you revived your concern for me. You were, of course, concerned about me, but lacked an opportunity. Not that I say this because of need, for I have learned in whatever situation I find myself to be self-sufficient. I know indeed how to live in humble circumstances. I know also how to live with abundance. In every circumstance and in all things, I have learned the secret of being well-fed and of going hungry, of living in abundance and of being in need. I have the strength for everything through him who empowers me. Still, it was kind of you to share in my distress. You Philippians indeed know that at the beginning of the gospel, when I left Macedonia, not a single church shared with me in an account of giving and receiving except you alone. For even when I was in Thessalonica, you sent me something for my needs, not only once, but more than once. It is not that I am eager for the gift. Rather, I am eager for the profit that accrues to your account. I have received full payment and I abound. I am very well supplied because of what I received from you through Epaphroditus, a fragrant aroma, an acceptable sacrifice pleasing to God. My God will fully supply whatever you need in accord with his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Responsorial song. 
Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generations shall be blessed. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. His heart is steadfast. He shall not fear. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Jesus Christ became poor, although he was rich, so that by his poverty you might become rich. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, make friends for yourselves with this one as well, so that when it fails, you will be welcomed into eternal dwellings. The person who is trustworthy in very small matters is also trustworthy in great ones. And the person who is dishonest in very small matters is also dishonest in great ones. If, therefore, you are not trustworthy with dishonest wealth, you will trust. Who will trust you with true wealth? If you are not trustworthy with what belongs to another, who will give you what is yours? No servant can serve two masters. He will either hate one and love the other, or be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and many. The Pharisees who loved money heard all these things and smiled at him, and he said to them, You justify yourselves in the sight of others, but God knows your hearts. For what is of human esteem is an abomination in the sight of God. The Gospel of the Lord. At the first reading today, St. Paul expresses his, how grateful he is for the support that he has received from the community of Philip. He wants to express his gratitude to the Philippians because they have been with him at tough time. They have supported him financially. They have supported the cause of the gospel. Even though St. Paul expresses that he was self-sufficient, but the support he has received from the community was very important, very helpful to him, and he expressed how grateful he is for the support he has received from them. They have been there for him, and they have supported the cause of the gospel. I remember when I was in seminary and second theology, we were like 120 seminarians. We needed food, housing, professors, and everything, a place to stay. But every year, the seminary is able to make it to welcome seminarians in the time of formation because of the support we have received. We receive from the people of God. You support the formation of the priest. That's why when I go somewhere, and I said so when I, I had to introduce myself here in this community. I like to say, and I'm proud to say it, that I am your priest. You have made me a priest. The people of God support our formation. We are priests for you. We are priests to serve you. We are priests for the people of God to serve the church, to serve God and His church. Because I've spent five years in formation. I didn't pay a penny for my formation. 
five years because of your super. And every year the diocese have a campaign to support his projects. And the Diocese of Palm Beach, I think they have at least 54 ministries to serve the migrants, the, the people in need, to serve the people who are struggles, uh, Catholic charities and everything. Because of the support they receive from the people of God, because of your generosity, the way you support the church, you support the mission of the church, the way you support the seminary, today I have priests, and my brother priests, they have received support. You have invested your money in a good cause for the gospel, to support the gospel. And in, in the first reading, both the first reading and the gospel, it's all about look, how to deal with money. Jesus raises up an issue about money and the gospel. He challenges his disciples, his followers, how to deal with money, their relationship with money. It's good to have money. We need money. All of us, we need money. Now, where we place money? He challenged them to do not place money above the relationship with him. The relationship with Jesus, the master, must come first. He challenged them because among of them, some of them put money, they have more than they needed. He challenged them in the relationship with money. We cannot serve to masters. We have to choose. It's all about to center our life. What is the essential in my life? I need money, it's a great tool. We need money and we're supposed to invest our money wisely. But Jesus challenges us and he challenges disciples. He's challenging each and every one of us today to do not be, become slave of money. It's a great temptation. Well, do we put our heart? But to use money and put our relationship with God before money, above money, what's supposed to come first is God. And as his followers today, as Christians, at the center of our lives, supposed to be God. Center our lives upon God. And he asks us to be generous in a good way to deal with money wisely. Today, brothers and sisters, let us ask of the Lord the grace to be blessed in our generosity, but also to open our heart to continue to share what we have, to continue to invest what we have wisely, to put ourselves and what we have in God's service and a great cause, the cause of the gospel, to serve those who are in need, to be open to receive the grace, the generosity of God, because he promised that those who are generous to him, it will be more generous towards them. That at the end of our life on this earth, we will be experiencing God's generosity and the kingdom of God. Let us ask of the Lord the grace today to be open, to serve him freely, free from all impediments that could be an obstacle to love God, to serve God. We cannot serve two masters at the same time. Today, what is the other master that could be an impediment for you to continue to follow Christ? Church, may God help us to be trustworthy in all matters related to her. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. For government officials locally and throughout the world, may God grant them the wisdom and courage to lead with justice and peace. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For all who are poor, unemployed, or struggling to make ends meet, may God generously provide for their needs and inspire others to assist them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For this community of faith, may God grant us a generosity of spirit toward one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who have died, may God welcome them into the kingdom of heaven and grant them eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for those persons whose names are written in our box of petitions, and for all the intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. Heavenly Father, we offer these prayers, trusting that you know what we need. We ask that you answer them according to your will through your Son Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, thou upon creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessings be God forever. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord, the God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayer of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son, the petition may go unanswered. No request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by the overshot channeling of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son. And without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices with pray trend with theirs, and want humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord our God, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are the holy, holy Lord, the fount of all holiness, 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Lufu, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. And a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of God. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have helped us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all those saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may be able to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with them and in him, O God, Almighty Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our saints, but on the faith of your church, and graciously put her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. For the Lord, 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 The communion antiphon. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, O Lord.
as we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech you, Lord, O oh Lord, your mercy, that we who reject and co commemorate the Blessed Virgin Mary may by imitating her serve the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your laps. Thank you, Lord. But we have the novena, the prayer of the novena at the end. Go and stay, stay with us for the prayer of the novena. <laughs>